unleash upon us and we are not dressed well because it will be hail and snow and cold it was in the end of September mm -hmm. then it appeared to be that the one person who hadn't told me was suffering from cancer oh. so we had to go her pace and what happened is that up there the tormenting weather clouds clusters they were like four meters upon us and then they unleashed lightning hail coal oh we survived but that's all and then we went to the other side of this mountain and we came in the refuge two thousand hundred and sixty meters over three thousand down there and there was nobody up but because we had survived we parted so much dancing on the tables and crazy the power unleashed after having gotten through an ordeal of that magnitude I don't know what happened with the girl with cancer later but we all died so you can imagine it was very in the end it was very positive yeah of course if, if it was a uh, normal weather there wouldn't be a beautiful story attached to it oh yeah and uh, so i got many stories with many groups i left thousands of people through these mountains and canyons all the time families old young nationalities etc oh amazing it was so that i after summer i went back to amsterdam and in the middle of the night i would wake up and see all the people lying in my sitting living room and i thought oh it's still on you know it's hallucinating when you get close to people and you are very intimate because right. the enemy is universal well, it's the hostile environment and all then you get so close it's uh, it's in, in, into the subconscious well at this point you might have you must have met and, and talked to like thousands and thousands of people during those retreats alone or in the mountains yeah yeah now outside the mountains too everywhere in the world next year hundred thousand people we're going to make it a guinness world record hundred thousand people doing breathing exercises simultaneously make it a rhythm i got the music already here with me they are making the tracks and the theme is, you are the alchemist. <laughs> Hundred thousand at a time. And then the people are going to jump, do 30 breaths, take it in. You know, the retention time, only 30 seconds. But you have to control it all. Keep it controlled. And then we breathe in again and we jump on the inhale. Whoa! That's going to be something. A hundred thousand people at a time. At least ten minutes long. Well, I'm joining for sure. So probably you got Twitch or... You YouTube will see or... it on television. Ah. Like everywhere in the world. Because it is so crazy. So out of the normal. It's not crazy. But you know what I mean. So that's uh, in the planning. That's besides of all the episodes coming. Hmm. Move so fast from that study in 2014. I remember the first material, then the Vice documentary, and the, and the podcast. Yes. Paris, Joe Rogan, and now. Yes. Moving, yes, theory. Everything is moving exponential. Yes, especially because of COVID. Yeah. People are not stupid. 
they are only stupefied. And at the right time, they wake up. They don't say, well, oh, we don't take this no longer. They are curious. And they begin to search. And they find this, and this shit works. And little masks don't work. One and a half meter doesn't work. It's governmental hypnosis. Your immune system, that's the government. It knows how to deal with bacteria and virus. And that is only logical. So we keep on going with that and win. I think uh, I, I chose the right time. The people in the world are waking up. Well, it is a good time and the app is really working for many people, getting them to, to try it and it yes. helps. Yes. And apart from that, everyone going back from a retreat like I was a year ago, I, I have probably trans transmitted the Wimpo virus to about five to seven people who are now doing it regularly. And everyone going from such a retreat, huh. like multiplying the effect. Yes, exactly. Exponentially, uh. as you say. Yes. When, when, when something works, it will not be stopped. People will get a hold on it, especially in times like this, on the immune system. <laughs> it's not only about the immune system, it's about the power of their own mind being activated suddenly. Mm. And getting in their conscious will. If this is that way, and it can be easily invaded and suppressed and solutions can be found then what else can we do we don't take it no longer from a so-called authority who was make look ridiculous like we are all doctors now on the streets <laughs> nurses and doctors it's a hospital all over the world we are operating All of us. Yet, we don't find what really is there. Because the virus is invisible. So we are blind. Blinded. Blind. And then the immune system. You awaken it. What happens? I hug thousands of people. I don't get COVID. I test myself, huh? When my blood taken, then they look for antibodies or anything. Nothing. I should have had it many times. Is the virus real? It's not a virus. It's man-made genetical manipulation. Yep. Coronaviruses have existed millions of years. This is what they call now, they call it coronavirus. Yeah. As if it is something of last year. Mm. It's the ridiculous information. Maybe the virus is inside the vaccine. Yeah, probably, whatever. They are fucking up the <laughs> whole thing. So whatever they do, I'm not Who taking it. Who yeah. are they? What? Who are they that they fucking up the whole thing? Who are they? Who are they? Bill Gates. <laughs> Just a couple of motherfuckers out there who are too bored with all what they got. They so they got to molest humanity and children. Because they don't have love. They don't have care. They have no sensitivity. In a desensitized system, they are the epithem. They are in the top. They are completely loveless, careless, without any sensitivity left. They come up with crazy ideas. You gotta do something with all the money and all this and all the power and 
We have unstable, unstable leaders. I had a podcast with the Dark Whisperer two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Cesar Bila. Mm. He says, we have unstable leaders in the world. They think they can govern whole countries, millions of people. They cannot even control their chihuahua. I'm good chihuahua. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can't control your chihuahua. Hey, that is point number one. <laughs> we have been so lied to. All these stories, they came upon us through psychological, brainwashed, kind of directed through industries to make us believe it is grey, fish is grey. Agriculture on salmon is great. Cows, meat, all great. It's killing the planet and they don't want to show it. They make us believe if you see these trucks who carry all the meat, you see a smiling pig and a smiling, a happy cow, happy sheep. We are the sheep. Mm. We are the stupid cows and we are dirty like pigs, but then real dirty because pigs are just funny animals. <laughs> so let's stop that. Let's stop that shit and become happy, strong, healthy, bring prosperity to the world, to the future, here and now. This is the preacher once again also. But fuck that, I use science. But from science I come back being, hey, I don't need science. I'm a human. I've got the right to be happy, strong and healthy. I'm a good man. I don't steal. I give. I care. I take care of thousands of people financially. I do that. It's what I do with my money. I don't use it. I, yeah, maybe I, I uh, buy coffee. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. You can charge me on that. So, Wim, uh, kind of a question I've been wanting to think like, but who's responsible, the system or the people? Because if you look into uh, organizations that are quite bad, a lot of the people actually want to do good, have good intentions, ah. but the system like a creation that runs its own. Yes. So, like, there are the, people, there are absolutely good people. And I meet them. 